those that can read it, please come in. Uh, can you knock $20 donations for a tour? Um, but we will give you a tour free of charge uh, by the powers of the internet. Just letting you all know, this is kind of a survey of what uh, the McKee flood of biblical proportions. Um, those of you that were wondering, uh, right down there, the hot water is what started it. Um, and you'll kind of see that by uh, the end of this, it did more than a little bit of damage. Um, obviously, bathroom floor, nothing looks too bad just yet, but you'll see, once I hit the right light, doors have started to stick already, because um, the floor's warped. It's kind of hard to see on a white floor, but it'll become a little bit more obvious as we walk around. Uh, obviously, started there. This used to be a uh, nice floor, uh, brand new carpet, but has obviously flooded all the way around. You have to pardon us because there's a, there you can see kind of where the carpet used to be. Um, there are fans going on everywhere, but the hardwood, it flowed all the way down the steps, um, out into the hall, uh, but predominantly we had a waterfall coming downstairs. And actually while you're stepping, all the floors are warped, so those are gonna have to come up. And if you look, you have where it's coming away from the wall, and then even here where it started, to, I mean, it's just, it's still wet. You can still feel it. It's absolutely insane. Flowing all the way down here uh, to the ceiling where it will be dripping. There we go. And the ceiling started to come out. But quick look in the hallway just before I get into the kitchen. Coming down here, all of this was a big waterfall and this is all going to come down. Um, but again, the walls have to come out. Going into our living room, this was all flooded. Again, floor is gonna have to come up. You've got, again, typical water damage. You're not focusing right, there you are. Uh, typical water damage, it doesn't look too bad just yet, um, but that's until we get to the main rooms. Again, the fans are on high, so I apologize, I'm yelling, but that's what we have to do. More again, just the typical stuff. This whole area right here, if you can see, is actually split away. Um, as my mom described it, it was like a wall of water just came right down. Um, you could take a shower with the amount of water it was coming through. And again, just through that small, small spigot is where this all came. Um, the chandelier, again, we've got more damage. It was dripping down. Uh, pouring down. Pouring down, I'm sorry. My mom wanted to change my words. Pouring down. Um, but this is where it becomes a little bit more shocking. Um, this is our kitchen, and I'll back up again. Uh, but once you walk in, you can tell that it was no small amount of water. Um, and again, it carries all the way over. All the light fixtures had to come down um, from the middle. The doors won't open anymore. Um, Warped. Just from warping. Yeah. Only one door can still open, but even water. Just, there were uh, there were five survivors of the flood. Um, they were happy, a little freaked out, but they're pretty good. Water was pouring out. From even the from the outside of the house, it was pouring out with the water. Um, but again, this is just the kitchen, so we're just starting. Um, thank God that it stopped kind of here. My dad's office is square. Um, that's set, so it didn't happen there. But again, just the kitchen, everything was just pouring, pouring water. Um, and this kind of fell down in increments too. Um, but water then from here went down stairs, uh, which we'll look at. More fans, obviously. Um, I won't take you in there, but the floor is still wet, part of the walls are still wet, the dog cages, um, the floor down. You've got again the ceiling, the floor is starting to warp. Um, I don't think I can turn a light on in here, but just to kind of give you an idea, uh, this is our laundry room. Again, the cabinets, the floors, everything. I think the washer and driver are salvageable, uh, but still. Um, and again, uh, moving into our family room, you've got TV and everything, but you look up fan coming off and it carries all the way down uh, to above the pool table and again if you're walking on this it kind of feels like the surface of the moon 
um, cause it's all warped. Uh, but again, this kind of just surveys the damage uh, of one teeny little faucet uh, that was broke. Um, but yeah, so this, for those of you at home who wanted to see, this is the, the McKee flood. Anything else? Water. Was, oh yeah, like if you're looking at this, I mean you can kind of see my hand, now it gets cut off. It was a swimming pool flat uh, flush across and they got pictures of that. But it was absolutely absurd how much water came down here. All furniture soaked. Furniture soaked, we're trying to salvage what we can. Um, but everything's wet. Uh, thank God there's most of the pictures and stuff are saved. Um, so it seems like it's just, it's furniture, floors and walls, which is bad enough, but our pictures are, uh, are safe from that. Um, I'm gonna carry you upstairs again. Yeah. Again, show my favorite thing was here, um, fireplace. No, my mom's fireplace was saved. No, the picture. My oh, my I'm sorry. This picture, which is our crowning achievement as a family. Um, we had to sit still through that one. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was saved. And again, everything around it kind of is dripping and wet and everything else. But uh, so that is that for the most